been installed and I'm so excited about this. It's finally happened. Yeah, you know, actually I wanted a vertical um, piping going up to begin with, but since there was a chimney here already, you know, why not? But since that didn't work out, I'm really excited about that. And plus I got to move the stove exactly where I, where I wanted at. And then in the future, if I want to put brick behind it or whatever I want to do, well, I'm going to be calling these guys right there, right here, right there, right here, he's right there, right here to help me move this wood stove again. So, uh, yeah, we was talking about, um, you know, now this is a new stove. My last stove was one I restored, but this is a new stove. So when I did my research, it puts, when you do that first burn, there's a possibility that it puts out a type of smell. Now, he gave me some vital information I didn't know, and I want him to share it with you. Uh, and basically, what we were talking about, just the curing process, you know, obviously these coming out of the factories, most of them, if any of them, are not uh, heated up and... and um, they get heated up, and then it puts in... word for it. Uh, cure? Cure, yes. Yeah, so yeah. they're not cured in factory. You know, you guys got to cure them at your house. Um, what tends to happen, with not every... Um, not every wood stove has it, not every fireplace has it, but uh, every now and again it will produce kind of a, a light fog in the room. And that's just from that paint burning off, that paint curing, everything that's happening inside of here combusting. Because, you know, you're doing something that's zero degrees to all of a sudden 500 degrees. Everything in there is just trying to cure, everything's trying to develop a draft. So every now and again you'll get a little fog in the room. Uh, it's obviously a thick white fog. Yeah, that was something I didn't know about. <laughs> and, you know, I researched that you should open up the windows. Now, we got mm -hmm. rain coming tomorrow, but I have to open up the windows, start me a little fire, so this uh, curing process can take place. But when he said about fog, I didn't know that because he was pointing out that some people think, hi, my, my wood stove is catching on fire. So that's a vital information mm -hmm. right there. Your wood stove is not catching on fire. It's just kind of burning off that paint or whatever they put on there. Um, I think it put a type of oil on there also yeah. to keep it from rusting. And so whenever you, it's like a um, cast iron frying pan, whenever you put oil onto it and it gets hot, it's going to start smoking a little bit. Mm -hmm. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, they also, tell them briefly what y'all did since we didn't get the footage on that. Um, tell them briefly what y'all did on top from, from this up. Okay, so this section, you know, you get your chimney connector pipe, it goes through your cathedral box, and then into your Class A chimney pipe. So as you go into the attic, it, it transitions from the double wall uh, chimney connector pipe into a single wall, you know, Class A pipe that goes up through. Um, and then as we went through the roof, you know, you put a flashing cone, you know, did the metal roofing around it, re restructured, reorganized all of that, and then, um, you know, certain heights that you have to maintain. So we you know, went up about nine feet above the roof in this one, just for sake of pipes that we had, and that attached hurricane straps, um, just to keep them centered, and it just helps with any wind, it keeps it just completely centered. Yeah, so the reason I wanted hurricane straps, because I do live into a hurricane zone. Um, the thing of it is, the straps don't cost that much, but if a wind come by, or if you was living into an area, that you get a, a lot of snow, snow load, uh, it can push those uh, chimney, I guess it's chimney pipes, is that what mm -hmm. it's called? Yeah, the chimney pipes, they're, they're, they're just connected, like they, they, they slip together, then you turn them. If something pushes that over and breaks it, the pipe's ruined. Even if it could go back in and just screw it in, it's, it's still not. It's, it's still correct. ruined. And then instead of spending X amount of dollars on the hurricane straps, now you're in for a couple hundred for the pipe. Yeah, probably more than that. Probably, probably, maybe. Well, with labor and the labor and everything, but well. you have to go back through the process. You got to go back through the ordering. It's cheaper it to put on these straps, especially if you live into a snow load. Also, you know, not just hurricane or wind zone, but a snow load. I know for a fact, if it gets behind that pipe, it'll push it and push it right push on it, over, push it, push and it. then you then you have a problem, and you got to fix it all over again or get somebody to do it. But anyways. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up and we will see you on to the next video. Now, once again, what is the name of your company? Seaside Suite. Seaside Suite. Guys, give them a call if you're local here on the east coast of North Carolina. Give these guys a call. Now, I'm telling you, 
if you watch my videos, you know anything really about me, you know that I do my homework and I, I, you know, check with people and I'm kind of peculiar, but if I recommend somebody, it's on, they're good, and I would not recommend anybody to you that was not good, that you cannot count on, rely on, and the price is right. Okay, guys, thank you so much and see you on to the next video. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Um, chimney connector pipe to class A chimney. Well, 24 puts it, so if we're measuring from in here to there, you think about that for a second. 24 here, right there. That's 12 inches. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. On the top. Taking this up, right? Yes, sir. All right.